Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hot to see and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Last time we designed a solution for our power problem, uh, this monstrosity here, and today we will actually build it down here on the water so we can have easy access to water. In this design I have used double iron chests to identify the places where our pumps go and down here I have quite a bit of uh, landfill that I can grab and switch out a few of the things that I don't need. Um, and then we can go about and try to do a bit of filling in so that we can place the blueprint. So actually we should take a copy of this to see um, how far out we need to go. I think that would already be sufficient and that would also align with this uh, this pump here because the pumps need one space in uh, on land and one space on water so Um, yeah, maybe let's not do that and we will continue this line down here just to, uh, to see how far we need to go and then probably Yeah, here that's that's the middle. Here we can go in in both directions. Um, place a bit more, and then have this going. And then always go back and forth, copy in a bit more of the of the blueprint, so we can see um, what we actually need to place there. And if I remember correctly, up here, here on the other side, we have also a pump, which. It has pipes or underground pipes on the, on the two sides, but to place a pump, we need um, we need three tiles of of water around it. So think we're still good there yep maybe this piece ah okay now let's see. This should be land. Do I have? Yeah, I have actually. So let's have the pump there. If we manage to place the pumps as we go, 
right because now i can actually do this and Voila, that's the uh, the upper part here done. And we can see about this part. How far up that one has to go. There we have this part. There we need one slice more. Right. We can have these ones put in and here we probably need a bit more yeah also one slice more voila upper part done and then let's see down here in the middle we can make this a bit wider no problem there um, because in here we do not really have anything to pump out the water that comes a bit further up and then also here in the in the middle section there we don't have any water pumps we have it again at the end of the of the heat exchanger lines and uh, on the inside so what we also can do is basically go out here and there so we can get a feel for where we are at with that And basically here, that should probably all be filled in. Here on the down as well. Um, I would expect that we would go then that way. And maybe if I try to align it correctly, yeah. So let's place a chest here, and that's how far out. We can go with the with the landfill. Also here on this side. It's all a bit tricky to Place that in. Yeah. 
yeah. Here I think we need one more for the boiler and then one more for the pump. That's yeah. That one placed one of the iron chests down. Which is what we want to see. Then down here we need probably this much. Perfect. And pumps. That's this side covered. And then probably also need going in, in a bit to the inside. I think what we can do here is place this here. Then align that. And there we have the slot for the pump. And then that was in the outside then have the same thing again here yeah there we need one more copy it again And all good. Then I think this can be closed off. And this. And then I just need to uh, fill in this lower part, which I will do. And once that's done, we can start uh, releasing the robots, uh, grabbing all the materials and actually build the thing. The core build is done and as you can see I already started to place in a few of the tanks. I think here on this side we are good. And then my intention was that we basically wrap it around here. Uh, also here on the top. That should be symmetrical. And then here we will have to see how we can connect there at the top. Yep, because that's, that's what I uh, uh, expected it does not really line up so we will have a bit of pipe going there and have an additional bit of land going there here on this side we have basically the output pipe and then i want to have um wherever i have something like this going that way and then we need this connection here because not every pump is aligned with an input for a tank and on the other side I did it a bit differently if I can get around here uh, on here, I basically only had the pumps where I had input 
into um, a tank. Um, but I think we do have enough. Um, we do not do have enough pumps going in there. Uh, however, not enough pumps on me. So we will just have to do this for now. And we also need to make sure that we have everything here powered. We need power there. And we need to bring the power over to this side. Actually, we could do something like this to connect. I think that's a nice touch. And there. And we're missing one here. Now then, what we are still missing is placing all the turbines. And as you can see, we have a big chunk of tanks here on this side and then a bit here on that side. And I think what we want to have is a bit of um, this action here on this side but then i think the the main bulk will be uh where we have loads of uh, loads of uh, tanks for the steam and we have connected up all the uh, steam tanks what we probably should also do is hook all this up with the circuit network so that we actually can count how much steam we have in the tanks and control uh, how we want to insert fuel into our reactors. Um, need a bit more of that. And then I can uh, add a bit more stuff around here. And I think here we will go with double row. And mm -hmm, I think then I'm done with that, but then I need the actual turbines. And question is, do we want to place them this way? No. Let's place them this way. Because we will need uh, 
uh, pump here. This can be connected. And then we need Mm, nice if if we do it that way we can place a substation here on the outside and that covers where is it that covers all uh, stations here and then I think we can have the, the same thing down here here and here um, maybe one here on the side and then I think here on this side we will switch to a different design but it seems I need more substations I need more pumps so let me grab that um, finish the setup of what we have figured out so far and then uh, we can see about the the last piece that we are still missing Those turbines are placed in and as you can see we rotated the whole set up uh, by 90 degrees up here and down there um, and now we have to figure out what to do on this side because we have to place all these turbines somehow here and let's see if we can reuse this setup somehow um, I am thinking Let's see how far, how close we can get to here. Think that would work out. We cannot go there because we cannot place a pump in between the turbines and the tanks. But if we do this and you can see I have already tried to play around with this so we have a pump in here we have more going on there we can have on the ground there turbine 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 very nice uh, looks like we need a bit more landfill here on this side we can do that and then should be easy to replicate that here on this side we yeah, we need to align it to uh, a tank, so that's what it will be, which means a bit more landfill on this side. And we have to place another station there to cover this row of tanks but I think that does it nicely so let's try to copy that uh, well not probably not the, the, the whole thing just this part we can rotate it and bring it down here let's see where did we have that was here 
and then we had the other one there there oh uh, I think that should then be here and we need a bit more landfill around here and there okay all out I can grab the landfill probably we want to have a bit more going around here on the outside as you can see it gets difficult uh, navigating around here um, but uh, actually we can fill that in should not be a problem fill this gap oh that's a bit too much And let the robots loose. Ah, uh, and here in the middle we do have a slight issue with power, as we have there and there. And there and there to make sure that everything is connected. And then basically solve the same problem up here. still have a few more uh, turbines to go and I'm wondering if we just slap this this on here Uh, have a row going there and there but have a pump here and here probably want to have something going there and then and here we can have them here on the outside and that again connects everything then we probably should do the same thing on the down below where we need more landfill
like so. And fill that in. And then, yeah, we can copy this like that. Okay. Um, we need pumps here and here. That goes there. That goes there. Um, we need the power. We need that. We need that. And then here through the middle. Have that going. So, do I, I can? No, I can't. But I'm not far off. All right, I think we have this power plant figured out. At least power structure wise. All that's missing is basically hooking that part up and that will be something for next time um, where we will actually bring this plant online. We need to connect it to the, to the general power setup, power system, power network and then hopefully we can have a look at what's wrong with uh, with our research because if you have been observant since a few episodes we are stuck at this uh, follower robo count seven at seven percent and uh, nothing nothing moves so Let's see then. Okay. Let's just grab these uh, few iron gears. Craft two, and then I had over place those in. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and tune in next time for more Beltless Factory. Until then, goodbye.